there. So welcome to what is now the last project in our basic knitting series. So the first six videos were all about the basic stitches and the second six videos all basic and very easy projects. So our last project is going to be placemats. So this is a neutral coloured one but what I've done to make it a little bit different is use cotton. So we haven't used cotton before in our basic series. That one is a neutral colour and then you can have a bit of fun by adding nice patterns. Now I didn't introduce different yarns to this. This is a variegated yarn so it's already pre-dyed and just like when we did the textured yarns, the variegated yarns, they're already done for you. All you have to do are your basic stitches and it does it. It makes life a lot easier. Also, with the placemats, I've done some little coasters. There you go. And they just sit on your table, protect a wooden table. Um, in my case, protect a glass table. <laughs> I really love them on my glass table. Stops things from clanking. So, I'm going to turn the camera around now and show you what I've been up to. Join me over there. Right, so here we go. I've almost finished this one. And this would go with that placemat. This one's going to be the size of a coaster. So you can see how it's got a stocking stitch middle and these are just plain knit stitches. When I cast on, I cast on 25 stitches on double knit needles, which are four millimeters. And I did four rows of knit. Then I swapped to four stitches knit either end and in the middle, the stocking stitch. So once you've done your four rows of knitting, the next row is as follows. You do four rows knitting, then with, silly me, four stitches knitting, and then the rest of it until you get to the last four is in purl. Because if we have purl on this, the reverse side and knit stitch on the front, we get stock and stitch. So four knit row, fit four knit stitches. One, two, three, and four. Now we need purl. So the yarn has to come to the front of the work. There we go. So it's on our side now. And instead of going down through the loop, we're coming up. There we go. So yarn round as normal and off. So purl all the way across now until we get to those last four stitches on the needle. And then we're going to knit those. Yeah. Now you might have to hang on to the tension a little bit more with the cotton. Some cottons can be a bit slippy but I think it gives a lovely finished effect. There's quite a few garments are in cotton yarns as well, especially those that don't really get on very well with wool. Some people's skin can not like wool. Oops, there we are, see, that started to slip on that finger, so I had to re-grab the tension. Right, last four. So take the yarn, from this side of the work underneath to the other side. And then we're going to do four knit. So taking the needle down through the loop. Oop. There we are, down through the loop, round the needle, in between and off. There we are. And then the second row in this sequence, because we started with the pearl row, is going to be all knit. We don't have to swap on this row because this happens when it's knit all the time and your stocking stitch needs to be knit on this side and that's knit anyway. So the whole of this second row is going to be just knitting. There we go. So I kept going like this, doing these two rows until I had almost a square. 
So let me show you a quick measurement. So I'll put that down. And while you're working, if you bring this corner up to the needle, there we go. And that shows me I need to do a little bit more before I can swap to four knit rows before casting off. So I can show you on this one. Bring that all the way up. You see, and now that's a square. But when I was knitting it and needed to know when to go to the four rows to finish, I needed it to measure here. And then I just swapped to those four rows to finish before casting off. That's all you need to do. So let's pop that to one side and I'll show you something else. Still in a cotton, but look how chunky this is. And this is so simple because there's no stocking stitch here. It's really chunky on those big needles again. That's what the yarn looks like. It's nice strips of cotton, but you can buy it like this ready done. Or if you really want to do a nice bit of crafting, you can cut your own, but believe it or not, that does take actually a long time. Now this yarn I got um, from Rowan, I believe. So that's a Rowan yarn. And again, variegated. So you can see how the dye changes and that's what gives you the pattern. And that's all about variegated yarns. So come back to me in a bit and I'll have finished them off. Right, so I've threaded the cotton onto the darning needle and we're just going to hide the long end now. Because it's a different color, don't go hiding it down here because that's not gonna hide it at all. You just have to stay in the area where the same color is, that's all. There we are. And just in and out of your previous cast off line should be fine. And then that gets rid of the tail ends. Always be very careful not to snip your knitting. It's the last thing you need. All right, we've got another one down here. This one doesn't matter quite so much where you try and hide it as long as it's done neatly because you're in a big piece of orange. There we are. It's not a very long end, so you have to be careful the needle doesn't come out of the holes again. There we are. So I don't think that's going to come out. And carefully snip it. And there you have it, another coaster. Right. So we've got a nice plain one. Now I would probably embroider all over that. I love embroidery. But the covered ones, you don't really need any embroidery. There we go. So, have fun. So, there you have it. Place mats, very simple stitches using cotton yarns this time. They do protect your tables uh, and they're just a bit of fun. Now, the reason I left the middles um, in stocking stitch was so that I can decorate them. You can decorate them with all sorts of things. You can stitch things onto them or you, you know, but what I would do is embroidery. Very simple embroidery stitches. And that, funny enough, is going to be the next series. So my next series will be simple embroidery stitches for beginners. So I hope you join me then. But in the meantime, if you could like, share and subscribe to this video channel, I'd be very grateful. See you next time. Bye bye.